All right, welcome to part two for your 8.5 video lesson. So I want to go a little more in depth with these problems since these ones involve a little more work. I didn't want to rush these. So here we go. We take a look at our hexagonal cell. We notice that we can draw ourselves a triangle right inside. So again, these are the radius, and right here is going to be our apothem. So my goal is to use the information that I know to try to help me solve this out. Well, I already know for a fact that since this is a regular polygon, that means that this entire length is 10. Now the apothem is going to split that into two equal parts here. So we know that those are 5 and 5 apiece. So before I go too much further, I'm going to draw another part of my apothem here. Or not my apothem, my radius. Because I want to show you that we're going to need this technique for doing the 360 divided by n to find the central angle. Well, since this is a hexagon, we're going to have six sides. So that should give us 60 degrees. So that means this 60 degrees fits inside of here. And it does fit in the other triangle. However, remember that apothem split that angle. So now I'm going to have 30 degrees right here, as well as right here. And don't worry if the writing's too small, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of those triangles here and I'm going to go ahead and make it larger. So right here, I know that my 5 is still down below. I know that this angle up here is 30 and the apothem does form a right angle there. Well, if you've noticed we have a 30 degrees and a 90 degrees, which makes the last angle 60. So this is our example of our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're going to go ahead and figure out that, hey, 30 degrees is pointing to my short leg, which means 60 degrees is pointing to my apothem, which is the long leg. So the apothem, which is the long leg, is going to equal the short leg times rad 3. Well, my long leg is A, my short leg is 5. So my apothem is equal to 5 rad 3. All right, we're on a roll here. Go to the formula. We're trying to use 1 half apothem times perimeter. I still need to find that perimeter but since I know each side is 10 units long and there are a total of six sides, that means my perimeter will equal 6 times 10, which is going to give us our 60. So now I have everything I need. Let's go back to plugging it in. So again, area equals 1 half apothem times perimeter. So we have one half of our apothem, which we found was 5 rad 3, times the perimeter, which again, remember, we found over here, p equals 60. So then it's just a matter of plugging it in. And let's see here, I can apply the one half to the 60 which gives me 30, so 5 rad 3 times 30, which will be 150 rad 3, and if we go back to our units, they are millimeters, so I'm going to say millimeters squared. Now, notice again that in my problem, I did not tell you whether to find the exact value or the approximate value. So this would be our exact answer if we were to type this in our calculator, which I left over here. Do, 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 do. 
we should have 150 rad 3 as a decimal. I know where my square root button is. There we go. And we get 259.807. Let me write that down. I promise I can write better. Now, let's say I say in the problem, round it to one decimal place. So this would be 259.8 millimeters squared. So either this answer or this one. Again, it will all depend on what I ask you to do. Either one. Okay. So the last one here, example five, I want us to find the area of our equilateral triangle. Now, some of you will be tempted to use the one-half base times height. We're trying to learn how to use the apothemon perimeter, so I highly suggest you try to use that instead. So if you look right here, we tell you that the radius is 20. So that means that this length here is 20. Now I can draw that in two more spots. I can draw that right here as well as right here. Now, in order to have this help me, I need to know my central angle here. So since it's a triangle, it will be 360 divided by 3 which gives us a nice 120 degrees. So if I were to draw my apothem, which would cut that 120 degrees in half, I would get 60 here, as well as 60 here. I'll do a double marking there. Well, again, back to what we know. This is, again, a special right triangle. Let me draw it off to the side here. So we know that that top angle was 60. We know our radius was 20, which means that this bottom right corner is going to be 30 degrees. So we need two things from this triangle. We need the apothem, which is right here. But we're also going to need the side length, which is going to be this part here. Now notice that that side represents this portion here. I'm going to need to double my answer since it's the same on both sides of that bigger triangle. So we're going to go ahead and reverse engineer our special right triangle. Remember again, your hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. Our short leg in this case is A. So we're going to go ahead and say 20, not two triangles, 20 equals 2 times A. Well then if you do your division, you will find that A equals 10. Now my side portion right there is going to come from the long leg. So we're going to say long leg is equal to short leg times rad 3. Well, we just found the short leg. It was A, which is now 10. And then our long leg is S. So S equals 10 rad 3. So that means the entire side length, and again, I'm going to cheat a little, going to move this stuff over. Each one of those sides was 10 rad 3.
which means that your entire side length, 10 rad 3 times 2, which is 20 rad 3. Or if you want to say 10 rad 3 plus 10 rad 3, that's also your 20 rad 3. So that's the length of one side. Well, remember we need our perimeter. Well, the perimeter is going to equal one side length times the number of sides we have. We just found the side length. So that's 20 rad 3 times our 3, which will give us 60 rad 3. We have our perimeter. We found our apothem from earlier, which let's use a blue highlighter. There's my apothem, which represents that length. We're good to go. So we're going to say what our area equals one half AP. So one half of my apothem, which we said was 10, times my perimeter of 60 rad 3. So you could do 10 times 60, which is 600, then take half of that answer. So therefore your area would be 300 rad 3. And since we're using inches, our units will be inches squared. To the nearest square inch, Okay, so notice that I didn't specifically say, give me an exact answer. I say to the nearest square inch. That automatically is telling us to round. So now let's go ahead and plug that straight into our calculator. So the area is approximately, got to go back to my trusty calculator here, 300 rad 3, do, 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 do. And to the nearest square inch means to the nearest whole number. So no decimals. I'm going to write it out first, then round it. So that's 519.61, etc. Just to make sure you guys are on the same page. So to the correct rounding unit, it should be 520. And again, the units there are inches squared. And there you have it. So if you were confused at any point, be sure to go ahead and go back to any part of the video you didn't understand. Go ahead and send me a message on Remind or just shoot me an email and I should be able to help you. Good luck with your studies and be awesome.